All right. I was feeling like the that red vibe on the countdown, like a little spicy. Like yeah. fireworks. Little fireworks. Spicy fireworks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are feeling patriotic and it's still June. Mm -hmm. I know. So but it's coming. We're ready. Independence Day. Mm -hmm. That's right. Some fireworks. Some. Okay. Are you team hamburger or hot dog on 4th of July? Hamburger. 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 Yeah. Anything on the grill, honestly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's always that like little stack of hot dogs that nobody eats. <laughs> nobody <just> eats. <laughs> <laughs> Unless there's kids, then they'll eat, you know, two bags of them. Yeah. yeah. Or they'll just eat the bun or they'll eat <laughs> half of it or a bite or only mm -hmm. chips or watermelon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm hungry now. It's mm -hmm. nighttime, but I'm hungry. Hi, you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Red Lips and Tips. We want to know that you're tuning in tonight. Mm -hmm. We want to know that you're tuning in tonight. It is June, but we are excited because mm -hmm. our one of our favorite things about the 4th of July is that we get to wear red lips. <laughs> yes. Well, I said we get to, but after tonight, we have to. We have to. <laughs> we have to because you're going to know all the tips, right, everybody? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So why don't you girls introduce yourselves, my friends, here on okay. screen with me okay. as everyone is commenting where they're watching and who they are. Okay. All right. Well, I'll start. Do it. I'm Ashley. Hello, everyone. Welcome. And I'm joining live from Bernie, Texas in the beautiful hill country and super grateful for all my girlfriends and guests that are on tonight. Thank y'all for joining. Mm -hmm. And I'm just excited about the holiday coming up and, you know, all that it means and just getting to spend time with family and friends. But I mean, if y'all haven't been watching on social media or if you're on Instagram and you follow influencers like the patriotic fashion and the jewelry and the headbands, I mean, it's all there. But your makeup's got to be there too, right? And your lips have got to be on point. So I'm excited about tonight because mm -hmm. I think a lot of women like want to wear red lipstick, but they're timid or, you know, they're like, I don't know. Is it too bold? Is it too much? And so we're going to just touch on all of that tonight for you so that you can go out and feel confident about wearing red lips for the 4th of July weekend coming up. Right. Yep. And the best news is um, you can go ahead and shop with your consultant tonight mm -hmm. so that you have all the things that you need in time for the holiday. Yes. Because I know you're on oldnavy.com getting your flag t-shirt, right? <laughs> or my daughter has been on um, like wanting matching sunglasses because my best friend's coming in town and her daughter's coming in town. So, you know, you got all the matchy matchy things. So you can get online tonight with your mm -hmm. consultant or just text her yeah. and say, okay, I will be ready to look super cute. I mean, firecracker cute for 4th of July. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. You introduce yourself. I love it. Now, and I'm like, Ooh, I want to find a tank top. And that's <laughs> got my black on it. <laughs> so um, we spent a lot of money tonight. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> So fun, but I love it. We are really giving everybody time to prep for the holiday, which is, is fun and needed. Um, but my name's Therese and I am um, here in Memphis, Tennessee. We are all over like coast to coast. Well, not on a coast, but I'm very landlocked. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm thrilled. Delta girl, you got the Mississippi. <laughs> yes, I'm all about the barbecue down here. Um, but I'm excited to be on because Ashley, when, when Ashley was sharing, I feel like, yeah, I feel like I'm that girl. Sometimes it's like, man, I want to walk a rock a red because when I see women wearing red, I always think, oh, that is so classy and it's so classic. And it's just like, you know, you'll see women just with a white shirt on and red lips and you're like, and glasses. And you're like, oh man, I want to be her. And so I'm excited to learn the tips and to share mine too. But I think all women just need a quick red you can just throw on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. And you know, when you said that, it made me think of my grandma. She, you know how, like, there's some iconic things that some mm -hmm. women have. And my grandmother, who is 99, she will not leave the house without her red lips on. Mm -hmm. She has Mary Kay skincare on, and that's about it for everything else. But she's going to pull out that red lipstick, mm -hmm. Mary Kay red lipsticks, of course. 
And that's just her thing. She doesn't feel fully dressed without her red lipstick on. Mm. So if Grandma Doodle can rock it at 99, all y'all can do it too. All y'all can do it too. Uh, Well, I'm Callie. I'm here on the Gulf Coast. I am on Pensacola Beach, Florida. And yeah, we're talking about, um, I was actually, my, my due date was July 4th. Um, so I'm super patriotic, but I was born tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow's <laughs> my birthday. Yay. And it is actually right. national pink day and we were going to do all the pink stuff, but we wanted to give you guys time to get all your red in gear. So yes, tomorrow's my birthday. Ask your consultant what fun thing she's doing for national pink day. It literally is a holiday. It's not made up and it's not mm-hmm. a Mary Kay holiday. You can Google it. And it's the day I was born. So I'm excited about, there's just lots of fun things coming up. We even have other Mary Kay events coming up this month mm-hmm. that we'll tell you about in a minute. But we are so grateful that you're here. We're glad. Thank you for commenting. We love feedback. So if you hear a tip that you love, I mean, put it in the chat. If you have a mm-hmm. question, put it in the chat. Mm-hmm. If you want to shop for something, put it in the chat. Tag your beauty consultant and let us know that you're having fun and let us know that you're watching. Okay. Okay. Let's get started with our tips. Okay. And this is going to be kind of crazy because, oh, and by the way, none of us have lipstick on. No. Can you tell? So that's the real deal. But we do have other makeup on. So we got to talk about red lips kind of in the arena of what's the rest of our makeup doing? Mm-hmm. Like, right, where do we focus here? So Ashley, you took this one on and tell us the, um, just kind of the, the basic tip on what to do with the rest of our makeup when we're going to be brave and bold and rock the red lip. Yeah, absolutely. So you may or may not have received um, a little sample card from your beauty consultant. If you didn't, it's no big deal. You can request one. You can say, hey, I want a sample card of eyeshadows and cheek. Um, Just let her know. If you did receive one from your beauty consultant, you can go ahead and pull that out. And I'm going to just walk you through it really quick. You don't have to do the makeup tonight. I can teach you how to do it tonight and then you can do it tomorrow morning, or maybe you want to save it for 4th of July, completely up to you. But what this card entails is three eyeshadows, a cheek color, a lipstick, and a lip gloss. So let me just walk you through the eyes first. So the main thing when you are wearing a bold lip in general, especially red, is you don't want your the rest of your makeup to compete with it. Mm-hmm. You really want to let your lips do all the talking, okay? And so whether it be a really hot pink or a really bright red, um, you want your lips to stand out. So I chose three eyeshadows that were that paired well together and that were just neutral. And that also went with all the different eye colors, right? Green, blue, brown, hazel. Um, and so what you have here is a highlighter, crystalline. Mm-hmm. You've got a mid-tone, which is golden mauve. And then a base color, which is cashmere haze. So for me personally, I start with my base shade. I start with cashmere haze and I work my way up. We're not going to get into a whole lot of eyeshadow application detail tonight. Okay. I would join us for Glam on Demand one Saturday. We do it every single month, one Saturday a month. And um, our Glam extraordinaire, Miss Liz Kroll, does Glam on Demand. And we do a lot of Glam on Demand on Thursdays. But anyways, we're just going to focus on the basics. So Cashmere Haze is what I applied right down here at the baseline, like above my upper lash line. Okay. So if you take your finger and you kind of hold it up on your eyelid, you can feel your brow bone. And so I want that cashmere haze to go right along the bottom. The golden mauve went right here in my crease, just a gentle sweep, overlapping, um, smudging, right? Blending those two colors together really nicely. And then the crystalline just went right above, um, the golden mauve right below my brow. And that's my highlight. It's going to highlight your brow bone. So that is the neutral eye look. Um, You can tell there's depth to my eyeshadow, but it's not this like overpowering eyeshadow look right now you can, and we would encourage you to add a little bit of blue for 4th of July. And you can simply do that You can add it to underneath. You can add a little bit, maybe just a little bit in the corner of your eye. Um, 
again, just to add a little kick of blue for 4th of July, you certainly could do that. Um, you can talk to your beauty consultant about um, all, all of our eyeshadows retail for eight bucks. So they, they're sold individually and you can build your own compact. So right here, I have this look in a compact, the three eyeshadows in the cheek color. And you can see that this whole side is empty. You can put more eyeshadows, highlight, contour, or even little applicators in there if you wish. Same thing with your blush. You don't want your blush competing against your lipstick. And so I chose Rosy Nude. It's a very neutral blush. Um, it goes really well with ivory and beige skin tones. If you have a if you have bronze skin tone, you might want to go up a level or two. Maybe um, oh, we have a really golden copper is a really beautiful blush color that's neutral and it's not going to overpower your entire face, right? Remember, we want the lips to do the talking. So that is your neutral look. You certainly can do different shades of bronzes or browns or anything like that. Keep it simple. You could even just do one eyeshadow on your eyes. The idea is keeping your makeup neutral and letting your lips really stand out. So that's your makeup look. And you can talk to your beauty consultant about putting together a custom compact. So really tip number one is when in doubt, you're going to pick one focal point. Mm -hmm. So this is not a smoky eye night on a smoky eye night. We might do like even a nude mm -hmm. um, lip to keep the attention there. So tonight it's all about the lips. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of fun on the eyes, but not too much. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. So we went ahead and uh, so I have brown eyes. Sharice, you have blue eyes. Mm -hmm. Ashley, you have green eyes. Green. So you can see we all have the same. Kevin. Kevin. I know. Um, okay. So once we have that settled, Sharice, we want to prep our lips. This mm -hmm. is a really important step because uh, red doesn't allow for a lot of mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> so no. Preparation is just as important <laughs> as anything else. Right. Right. And I mean, for sure with reds, but really that's the case with any lipstick. Like our lipstick is going to look best when we've prepped our lips, right? And so how do we prep our lips? Number one, exfoliate. Mary Kay has a great exfoliant for your lips. This is our satin lips. It's a sugar scrub. It is wonderful. Um, it's got sugar in it. So you just kind of exfoliate all around your lips, um, which helps remove the dead surface skin cells. And sometimes too, when you're out in the sun a lot, your, your lips can get sunburnt um, or dry. So this just helps to bring up the new smooth skin. It kind of plumps your lips too, which is lovely. Um, and then you can also hydrate. This is our Shea Butter Balm that is amazing and a must have. Um, I'm just going to do the exfoliant for today. And then I wanted to show you guys about our Mary Kay um, age fighting lip primer. This is how I'm going to kind of hydrate my lips. So I've already exfoliated them. Our age fighting lip primer is wonderful. I was just talking to a client today um, and she said something. I can't remember. She said, Sharice, I, I was just telling all my girlfriends, they're all wondering how, my, what my age was because I look so good. She said, but I just have a few too many lines around my lips. She said, my mama told me it was from all that pouting I did. Oh. <laughs> so, I was like, okay, well, you know what? Whether you pout it or not, <laughs> the age fighting lip primer is really great. So she got that today just to help with the fine lines around her lip area. So you can just kind of roll it up. It's clear. You can just use it here on your lips or... If I didn't have foundation on, you can use it all around your lips. This is also going to help with your lipstick, maybe feathering. If you ever have that problem with your lipstick feathering or bleeding, it's great. It's also very, very moisturizing. So age fighting lip primer to hydrate, but also keeps your lipstick on really, really well. So we have exfoliated with the satin lips and the lip primer. And if you're like, yes, I need this, just comment sold lip primer, tag your consultant or sold satin lips. I need that set for my lips and then tag your consultant in there. So we have prepped it by exfoliating and moisturizing your lips to get started. Perfect. And one thing I noticed too, when you were using your lip primer, you do not have to be perfect with that. You actually want it to go even a little bit outside that lip line like Sharice did mm -hmm. because of all of the anti-aging properties that it has in there. So this, th these are the steps where you can just kind of like 
swing it a little bit. And now we're going to focus our attention. This next, one, this next one's important, but we can always fix, fix things too. No worries. Uh, we're going to talk about lip liner next. This is really the holy grail of making sure that your lip look stays put, looks fully finished, um, keeps its color that you want, and also this will help prevent any feathering or bleeding too. Now, you get to pick which color lip liner you want to use. Sharice and I have both chosen red tonight, and Ashley is going to go with more of a nude, I believe. Is that right? Yes, yeah, I'm going to do red too. We're oh, going to do red too. Sweet. Mm -hmm. We're all now, doing red. And what I mentioned with that too, you could go with a nude. And mm -hmm. anytime you want to change mm -hmm. the tone of a lipstick, a quick, easy lip liner will totally do that. So you could use a nude lip liner if you want to make it just a little bit less intense. You could use a berry liner if you want to take your red more into the berry family. You could, of course, use a true red if you want to make sure that it stays throughout eating and drinking and talking and smooching and all that stuff too. So our lip liners are really nice and creamy, super easy to use. Um, so I'm going to roll up my lip liner. They actually have on the tip, it's super cool. This is not a sharpener, but it is a shaper. So if you want the tip of your liner to be a little bit more pointed, you can shape it on here. Just keep in mind, it's not a sharpener because we don't need it. It's a mechanical pencil, mm -hmm. but you have a shaper built in. A lot of people don't even know that mm -hmm. a shaper built in right in there. All right. What I, I'm going to talk about it, then I'm going to do it. What I like to do is I do the little V right here um, first. So you'll see me draw that. Then I take each um side of my upper lip and i draw that down at the bottom you kind of do the bottom section first and then pull it up that eliminates you trying to do one long <laughs> big line and feel like you're going to mess up you're just going to do it in stages and then it's up to you if you want to go ahead and fill it in so we're probably going to fill it in just again so that our lips mm -hmm. stay on perfectly we might use mirrors because we're here on um <laughs> we're here <laughs> on our uh laptops so I'm going to use my phone for my mirror and you can do that too. So you'll be able to see us do it as we draw in our lips. Because it's so creamy, you don't really have to tug and pull at your lip either. One other little trick, if you want your lips to look a little bit fuller, you can actually cheat just outside. Um, you're not going to go way onto the skin of your face, but just on the outer rim of your lips. And that will just cheat just a little bit to make the lips look a little bit bigger. Make sure that you go all the way in as well so that when your lips, uh, when you open it up, you'll be able to see it all filled in. Kelly, weren't you saying too that you love this lip liner a lot of times just by itself because mm -hmm. it's so creamy? I absolutely do. I have a girlfriend whose birthday, um, let me see, when is her birthday? Our birthdays are like right next to each other. So happy birthday, Amy. And she was like, okay, she's a blonde, just like you, Sharice. But she's like, I'm celebrating a big birthday and I want red lips. And she goes, but I need to stay on. And I said, you know what? I'm going to recommend that even if you don't even get a lipstick with it, that you just do the lip liner. It goes on so creamy and it will stay. So think of this as like your staying power with color. So let me finish mine. Yeah, I colored mine in. I mean, I almost don't even need lipstick on, uh -uh. but I'm going, I mean, I'm going to put some on, but it'll, it's great to help keep it on. It'll keep it from feathering and fading. Mm -hmm. I love our lip liner. And as your lips do start to, again, if you're eating or drinking or doing something like that, mm -hmm. Usually they kind of start to fade in the middle first mm -hmm. or they come off in the middle first, but you've got that lip liner there. And so it's still going to keep the color there. Even if you have a semi shine or a lip gloss, you're going to finish the night with a matte lip look, even if you don't touch up, which of course you can. Okay. Well, we're kind of like, we could just end this right here. Yeah. Look at you, Sharice, with your red lip and the mm -hmm. blonde hair. You got red, white, and blue on. You've got your white shirt, your blue eyes, <laughs> and your red lips. Perfect. All right. So if we decided to go on and put lipstick on, which we are, because some of you have samples to try and you want to know, okay, there's um, several reds to choose from. Mm -hmm. 
How do I pick? How do I pick? So this is a super important part of red. I think red lips, Ashley, that's which color red lips or which color red lipstick do we roll with? Yeah. Well, there is some, there's some thought behind it, right? So choosing the correct shade of red lipstick for you is kind of like choosing the right shade of foundation. And let me say this, everyone can wear red lipstick. Does not matter your skin tone, your undertone, everyone can wear red lipstick. Okay. So what shade do you choose? So I'm going to bring up some pictures of some models and we're going to start with the fair skin tone. Um, okay. So when you've got fair skin and how do you know if you have fair skin? Well, the best question you can ask yourself is, you know, or I'm going to ask you is what, how does your skin respond to the sun? When you get sun exposure, what does your skin do? Do you burn? Do you burn then tan or do you just automatically tan, right? And so fair skin typically burns and peels. <laughs> they don't need, sometimes they don't even get a tan. And so if that is you and you've in the, uh, typically there's a, there's a lot of women that have blonde hair that have fair skin, you're going to want to go for more of a bluish red, more of a cool red, um, purpley blue red. So this is an example of that for, um, beige skin tones. Um, I'm going to give you a couple, or I'll give you this example of Angelina Jolie. Um, she's just really, ha she has on a true red. It's just, just like a, tr right. That is a true red. Um, and, and really with beige skin tones in, in this category, beige skin tones can really wear any shade of red and it, and it's fine. Um, for fair skin and bronze skin tones, I'm going to pull us back up on the screen. Mm -hmm. It, here's a couple of things that can play, um, a part of this is the time of year and also what you're wearing. And so um, I would say like for Sharice, right, she's got fair skin. So she's look. OK, so we all have on the same red lip liner. And does it not look different on all of us? Mm -hmm. It looks more blue on Sharice, does mm -hmm. it not? Like a bluish red. Yeah. Almost looks more pink on her. Right. Mm -hmm. So for Sharice, like if it's in the fall, um, she could tend to go. To, she could use a little bit more of like a burnt red or a brick red or a brown red. Um, cause that, that goes along with fall, but for the rest of the year, I would recommend that she use more of a blue red, a blue undertone. Um, Callie and I have more beige or beige skin tones and we can actually wear any shade of red all year long. <laughs> hey, you know what? We all, you know, brown eyes can wear any shade of eyeshadow, mm -hmm. right? I mean, like they're like blue eyes. It's better if you wear this color, that color, brown eyes can wear anything. Um, let me, it's what we get up. from having plain old brown eyes. Okay. We got to get, so, we got to get some credit. Over there. <laughs> Something. Yeah. Okay. So let me pull up a bronze skin tone. Um, Miss Beyonce. So she's got more of an orange red on. So bronze skin tones, whether it be a brick red, a brown red, an orangey red. Um, it, I mean, isn't that, but it, look how beautiful it looks mm -hmm. on her, right? Mm -hmm. And and bronze skin tones really can wear um, any shade of red, but the the more orangey red, brick reds are going to really pop and stand out on them. So for me, I chose stiletto red, and I just want you to know, like, you can request a catalog from your beauty consultant, and we have several different formulas of lipstick. So we've got lip glosses on top. Supreme Hydrating, Semi Shine, Semi Matte. I am going to do the Semi Matte. So this is a really flat finish lipstick. Um, I would consider it a true red. If you're wanting just a really true red, this is the one for you. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Mm -hmm. And Callie, I'll toss it to you because I know you're doing a completely different formula. I am. I'm going to do the Supreme Hydrating Formula. I think we're all doing different formulas. Which mm -hmm. is we are. So I'm doing the Supreme Hydrating Formula. Um, this is why I want to be extra careful because the more hydrating it is, the more 
that it could travel a little bit on me. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to apply my Supreme Highlight Hydrating Lipstick on. Mm -hmm. um, Sharice and I are both going to show you a couple different tips to make this lip liner last. I mean, this lip last, mm -hmm. especially because ours are a little bit more um, hydrating. Sharice, mm -hmm. which one are you? And I'm doing Rockstar Red. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have Red Smolder, and it is the Gel Semi Shine, which is actually the one I prefer. Um, I love it. It's creamy. It's got just this beautiful, like, cushiony formula that just feels amazing. So, yeah. And because of my fair skin, uh, it has a little bit more blue undertone to it. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Um, I'm actually going to apply mine with a lip brush because I want to really make sure that I keep it in the lines because of the semi, um, because of the hydration that I'm going to do. So I'm going to pull up my phone so I can see it easier. And I'm, I'm not going to go all the way to the end of the lip liner edges. I'm more going to keep it in like 75% of my lip area. Um, so I'm going to just apply it right over my lip liner. It almost look like Sharice and I have a little bit of a gloss on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to finish with a gloss in a second just to show you. Um, but I'm using, plus the, the birthday girl um, wants to feel fancy. So I'm using a, a lip brush. <laughs> <laughs> okay. While Callie's doing that, why don't I share some um, like, like interesting facts about red lipstick real quick. Are you yeah. that? Love it. Okay. Women that wear red lipstick are perceived as more confident. Um, <clears throat> yeah. When you wear red lipstick, people take you more seriously. Yes. And when you wear red lipstick, people listen to you more intently. Well, we're watching your lips. And so they're really listening to you. Isn't that interesting? So I've always been told like going on a job interview, I got a, a degree in communications. We were always told to wear red lipstick or a bold lip yeah. because you come across as more confident. I know. Isn't that okay. interesting? Okay. Now, if you're prepping for that interview or that date or whatever it is, you want to make sure a couple of things. First of all, you want to make sure that you don't get it on your teeth, <laughs> right? Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is a couple last tips here for you today to make mm -hmm. sure that your lips stay put as long as possible. Mm -hmm. All right. So you don't have to be, you know, dashing into the bathroom to reapply unless it's to grab your girlfriend and to talk about how great your date is going or <laughs> your interview. Okay. So mm -hmm. the first thing we're going to do is blot our lips because we don't want it to come off on other things. Sharice is going to mm -hmm. use our beauty blotters to do that. Now there's two ways. There's the traditional way where you can blot them obviously like this. All right. So that's important to do. There's not mm -hmm. going to be a lot on here because we have our lip liner on as well, but so Sharice, you can do it the traditional way. So just blot your lips. Some people take their finger, but then you have red lipstick on your finger. Okay, so show right. your beauty blotter. Look at all that excess mm -hmm. that's now not going to get on her straw or on her drink or on her lips, right? Okay. But there's another way that we can do this. We're going to start to layer um, our mm -hmm. lips so that we have more layers to go through for it to stay on longer. Okay. We're also going to blot our lips like this. I know that's crazy. Now, some people do that because they just don't want quite as much red, but that's not us. So Sharice, go ahead and let's blot our lips straight on. Okay, perfect. Now guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna do another layer. All right, so we could even do another layer of lip liner, but we're not gonna mess with that. We're gonna do another layer of our lipstick. Okay. Okay. So we're just infusing our lips mm -hmm. with our red lipstick. Does that make sense, everybody? Mm -hmm. You want to do it at least once. Now, I'm going to give you one last little trick that you can do with it. You can actually take, same thing, a beauty blotter or a piece of tissue. I'm going to take some translucent powder. This is crazy. Take my translucent powder or regular powder, too, if you want. I'm going to put some of my translucent powder into my cap. Oh, I got to reopen it. You know that. They click shut and click open. So got some translucent powder in there. Now, first I might just like powder my nose, make sure I'm good to go. Okay, but I'm gonna take my powder 
I'm gonna lay my beauty blotter or my piece of tissue over my lips. And I'm gonna powder it just like that. I don't need to powder the actual lip. I powder it through here. And I can do one, and I have just a little bit that came off, and I can do one more layer of my lipstick. And you better believe that this is going to stay. <laughs> like, this awesome. is amazing. I've never learned this trick. Yeah. And again, I don't know that you'd ever feel more like a girl than applying three layers of red oh, lips. And you're like, <laughs> I am now officially ready to go. Yeah. I'm now officially ready. <laughs> So a couple of the tricks that you can do, you can even spray your lips with a setting spray if you want to, um, just like you could spray anything else. You could spray your lips before you put your lips on. That's another quick tip too. But I, there's just something about that setting powder that I just love and continuing to blot and reapply, blot and reapply. Of course, at the end, the last thing you can do is you can add a little bit of gloss. If you're feeling extra, I mean, if you're not already extra, but you're feeling extra, extra, then you can take your gloss. This is our iconic red. I'm gonna use my same lip brush cause I'm fancy like that. And I'm not gonna put the lip gloss all over. I'm just gonna put it in the center of my lip, just like that. Because the glossiness draws attention, not only are my lips drawn attention mm -hmm. to, but the glossiness draws attention to the fullest part of the lip, which is the center of the lip. So it does make them look fuller, bigger, poutier um, in the right kind of pout. So if you put lip gloss on, I recommend that you just put it in the center of the lip if you're wanting to draw attention to the lip. If you want the full gloss all over, you can do it all over. But if you want that kind of va va boom right in the center, mm -hmm. you could also use a different shade. You don't have to use red. If you want to have an iridescence, you could use one of our mm -hmm. um, glosses that have shimmer on them right mm -hmm. in the middle. If you want to take it a little more pink, take one of the pinker glosses and just kind of ombre it there in the middle. And you could mm -hmm. do that too. Um, if you want to make it more brown, then you can, so you can adjust it on either side. You can adjust it with the lip liner. You can adjust it with the lip gloss, depending on what look that you're going for. You could even adjust it throughout the night if you want to. So this is my finished red lip, red liner, rockstar red, three layers of rockstar mm -hmm. red, and the little iconic red gloss just mm -hmm. down the center. So mm -hmm. I think I'm ready to go for my birthday tomorrow. I think I'm ready to go for 4th of July and where I live, the Blue Angels. That's the week of 4th of July as well. And I mean, there's just nothing greater than watching these six um, fighter jets fly over Pensacola Beach. And for the first time ever, we have a female flying one of the jets here in 2023. We've had females on the Blue Angel team before. We've had a female who flew the C-130. But for the first time ever, I'm going to be on that beach with my red lip watching my girl fly one of those jets. So. There we so go. Awesome. All right. Well, I think we've given you some great tips tonight. Mm -hmm. We want to know what tip did you love? Mm -hmm. Did you love knowing which part of the makeup to focus on? Did you love reminding yourself about prepping your lips? Did you love Ashley's great tips and visuals on which kind of red you can do? Mm -hmm. And then a great tip on reminding you how to keep it staying as long as possible. And of course, the reminder, say it again, Ashley, what are people going to think about us with our red lip? What were those? So they're going to think of us as more confident. They're going to listen to us more intently. And oh my goodness, what's the third? More intently, more confident. More serious? More serious. Oh my gosh, we just lost it. Doesn't matter. You just need to wear red lips. Y'all put it in the comments because you were what we were too busy like doing our lips and yeah. yeah. Put it in the comments. So we want to know what did you love? And we want you to know that you can start to shop now. So mm -hmm. if you are ready to shop, ask your beauty consultant about her lip bundle tonight so that you can pair a lipstick, a lip gloss, 
and your lip liner together. You can add in your primer. You can add in your satin lips. Mm -hmm. So ask her about her lip bundle and you can shop bundle. So put shop bundle in the comments, tag your beauty consultant. She will send you her lip bundle option for tonight. You can also shop the eye bundle for tonight too. So on the eyes and cheeks. So you can put that in the chat. You can do a la carte if you're like, well, I think I want a couple different reds. I think I might want a couple different liners. I need the beauty bladders. I need the, just put shop and tag your beauty consultant and she will customize what you're looking for tonight. So that's the first thing that we want to do. The second thing that we're going to do is we're going to remind you about what we have coming up so that you can join us for future events here because we love our Thursday nights. We also have a once a month Saturday event too. So here's what's coming up um, in just two days, right? Yeah, just two days on Saturday morning is our Glam on Demand. If you are into knowing how to fill up a pro palette with our total glam guru, Liz, she's going to be going live right here at 9 a.m. Central, 10 Eastern, and she's going to tell you what's in your pro palette. So tonight was all about red lips, and that's going to be a lot about shadows, powders, blushes, highlighters, contours, etc. You can write book me and get an invitation for that. No samples needed. You can also write book me for our Hydra session, which is our spa session that we're doing next week you will want samples for that from your beauty consultant so you can write book me that'll get your skin prepped for the long holiday weekend whether you're traveling yeah tell us what you're doing for fourth of july um are you going to be traveling my niece is getting married right here on the beach i'm so excited my baby my baby niece alexis so my skin's got a glow for that wedding um, so you can say book me for that. Um, and then last but not least, we never want to finish one of our events without telling you that you can join your beauty consultant on her team this month. There's so many great reasons to do it. So mm -hmm. many great reasons to do it um, for just 30 bucks. Mm -hmm. You can join her team. And so if you're like, you know, I've kind of been thinking about it. I've been thinking about I don't know. What would be some of their reasons to say yes? What do you guys think? Why would they oh want to use a consultant? 50% uh, discount. Right. I mean, come on. Right. Getting your products half price. Oh, my word. Like I read the other day that women in like over a lifetime will spend like, like $200,000 on beauty products. I believe it. What? I'm glad to hear that. That makes my day. <laughs> Seriously. I, I'm, that's a lot of money. And so as Mary Kay Beauty Consultants, we get our products 50% off. Mm -hmm. And we don't have sales quotas or you know anything like that. So you can come in and have fun and play with the makeup and make some money, right? Mm -hmm. Selling to your families and friends. I always say your family and friends are wearing some sort of makeup, body care, right? I mean, Mary Kay sells it all. So they might as well be buying it from you versus mm -hmm. some department store or big company, right? Um, a drug store. Why don't you make the money? Bring the money into your family's income to help you pay, whether it's private school for your kids or sporting events or paying off debt or saving for college. I mean, you name it. Who doesn't need extra money? So mm -hmm. those are my... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, 50% y'all and not having to go anywhere, like not having to go to the store to get your products. I mean, to me, I love it. I love being able to be like, Oh, I need mascara. I'm just come in my office. Um, I love that. And the relationships that you get to build, right? You're, you're able to save yourself time and money, but you're able to serve your tribe of friends who are also super busy <laughs> and, you know, be able to say, Hey, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you need? And keep them gorgeous, right? Mm -hmm. So I think everybody needs some, you know, some sort of opportunity to earn passive income. And women are washing their face every day. They're putting makeup on every day. And so it's just a smart choice to be able to have that passive income always coming in. Yeah. And if you're thinking, well, I would do it, but I didn't know all these red lips tips or I didn't know mm -hmm. all the eyeshadow. That is something that we've learned. <laughs> 
um, once we were a beauty consultant, we were trained on these kinds mm -hmm. of things. So you don't need any experience in knowing how to do it. That's what we're going to be here for. And that's what the beauty community is here for you too. So it's $30 to join um, your consultants team and just kind of give it a shot, give it a try. This is a great time of year to do that. So now that you've gotten your options, you can text her. You can comment here too. Sometimes it's just easier to text her. Text her if you want to shop. Text her if you're ready to schedule. And maybe you don't even want to just do what's in the beauty community. Maybe you want to get together with her. Maybe you do want to try out what color foundation is good for you or pick your best skincare options. Um, you can book and schedule outside of just what we have here. And then, of course, you can tell her if you're interested in joining her team and you can ask questions or you can just say, girl, I'm in as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and celebrating my birthday early. So sweet. Stop it. Stop all that. <laughs> my birthday celebration. Thanks. Yeah. Remember, it's National Pink Day tomorrow and Callie's birthday. Um, and then don't forget Glam on Demand on Saturday. So rock out your red lip with confidence. With confidence. Text your beauty consultant. She can hook you up. And um, I think we're ready, girls. We're ready for all the fun. It's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your night. We'll see you next time here in the beauty community. Bye, everybody.